what's up? Welcome to your Bliss Asana Power and Grace class. This class is going to really be a nice balance between training your glutes and strengthening your body, but also allowing you through that proper muscle activation to really gracefully move through your postures. So it's going to be a nice balance of both and we'll also be doing some balance work so it should be a really fun and enjoyable class and something that afterwards you can feel really proud of yourself for completing. So you can meet me on your knees to begin. We're going to extend the left leg out for Paragasana, so left toes are forward. Core needs to be deeply engaged here. And we're gonna plant the right hand down and stretch the left arm all the way up towards the sky. Gaze up. This time reach left hand all the way across. Gaze down to right hand. Beautiful. Circle right arm. As you circle the arm, take the right arm up and find yourself lifted. Nice. Take yourself back down using your side obliques. Planting right hand down, keeping the left arm moving. Beautiful. This time, sweep the left arm to bring yourself all the way up. Reach right arm across. Find your flow. Excellent work. Drop right hand down. Left arm stretches across. Take the left hand out in front, right arm reaches out towards the side. Flow right arm underneath. Squeeze through your low core. This time, take the arm across and through. Think of the things that are right. Think of the things that are right. Things that are right. Show me the things that you like. I show you the things that I like. Things that I like. Think of the things that are right. Think of the right arm reaches back out. Tuck it under and up. It's time to take it out to the left side. Beautiful job. Spin yourself forward onto your mat to come into a lifted lunge. So go ahead and step the right foot through. Left toes come behind you. Both toes are forward. Inhale to come all the way up into your lunge. Beautiful job. Find a few pulses. So as we work here through a high lunge, through some of the balance work that's ahead of us, remember to keep the core activated. Activate through the glutes. So just squeezing through that area and being mindful about it. Bend into the right leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Left toes rise into standing split. Keep the right hand planted and start to open up into half moon. Flex through the left toes, open up the left hip. Left arm reaches up. If it's available, you can choose to send your gaze up to your left hand. Nice job. Come back into your lunge. Arms can reach up. Bend generously into the right leg and lift up into warrior three. Left toes come behind you. Hands can come down to the mat if needed or you can keep them lifted. Really try to extend through the right quad. Step back into your high lunge to the ball of that back foot. Finding that grace and power combination. Inhale to come back up into warrior three. Nice. Take it back into high lunge. Squeeze your left glute. Flex the left toes, kicking them all the way back behind you. This time, take the left toes back and begin to just kick up and down. Nice job.
Last one, extend and hold the left toes all the way up. Beautiful job. Plant the hands down, come into standing split. Beautiful job. Step the left foot to meet the right. Step right foot down. Coming into lunge on to that opposite side. Deep 90 degree bend into the left leg. Arms reach up. Find a few pulses up and down. Nice. If it helps you to take a mudra with the fingertips, just keep that focus going, go right ahead. Hold here in your lunge. Ground down deeply into the left foot. Inhale to take yourself up into warrior three. Flex the right foot. Inhale to step back into your lunge. Both toes forward, heart is open. Big inhale, exhale, extend and flex right foot. Keep a right thigh pointed down. Core is engaged, glutes are engaged. Step right toes back, arms reach up. One more time, inhale, come all the way up into warrior three. Flexing through the right glutes. Take the right foot down, walking it a little bit closer and take a few pulses up with the right leg. Nice job. Last one. Take the right foot down, plant the hands, bending into the left leg for just a moment, and then straightening back up through the left leg. Bend into the left leg, inhale, right toes rise into standing split, drop the heart down towards the left side. Big inhale, planting the left hand Extending and opening up through the right hip for your half moon. Right hand comes up. If it's available, you can send your gaze all the way up to your right hand. See what feels good for you today. Awesome. And send the fingertips back down. Come back into standing split. Drop right toes down onto the mat. Plant the hands. Coming into high plank. Lower onto the knees or stay lifted up into plank. Press the earth away. Lower down into chaturanga, elbows hug rib cage. And press through into low cobra. Come back into your child's pose. Press the hips down. Inhale to come through for some child's pose push-ups. Nice shot. So sending the heart down, elbows hugging in, core engaged. Because I'm losing all my temperament, I want a man. All of my strengths and all of my weaknesses, these increase the length. I can't even this. tell you what beat this is. I greet them with a smile because in the meanwhile, I hear with fingertips the spread is. wide. But I will never let them win. I'm a defend, never pretend. I will never falter. I know that we are divine. We're here to shine without a need for an altar. Not even close to my prime. Got infinite time. There's nothing out there that can halt. All right, this time when you come all the way back up. Bring the knees back to a neutral position, all fours. Maybe even the knees come together. Fingertips spread wide, lower down for some chaturanga rolls through. Press back onto the knees and lower back through chaturanga. You got this. Two more. Last one. Let the knees go as wide as the mat. Come on into child's pose. Lift the wrist up off the mat so you're on to the fingertips. Massage the third eye space. Inhale to come back up to all fours position. Resting onto the right knee, left leg comes out for your Paragasana, right hand plants. Left arm stretches up towards the ceiling. And then switch to the opposite side, plant the left hand, right arm reaches up, gaze up to right hand. Find your flow to circle over to the right side and then left. Got my directions, stronger voice, higher projections. Uh these blessings, they strengthen they lessons. Yeah. Next time that you're on the left side, planting that left hand, right toes come out, plant the right foot. Right arm reaches all the way up. 
in the line. Nice job. And you get into circle, right arm back. Really root down into the right toes. Start to circle yourself up off. Left hand comes to heart. Nice job. Take yourself back down. Plant the left hand. Inhale to circle yourself all the way up. Right hand comes to the right leg. Left arm stretches all the way across. Find your flow, taking yourself back down, extending right arm and flowing back up. Nice. Next time that you're down, left hand plants, right arm reaches all the way to the right, gaze down to left hand. And then take the hands out in front of you. Plant right hand or come up onto right fingertip. Left arm comes out. Start to feed the left arm in and out. This time, take the right arm underneath, out and over. You got it. No core connection. Make sure you're really squeezing through that area. It's hard not to. Great job. And this time, keep the arm pulsing under. And this time, keep it pulsing out towards the right side. You got it. Beautiful. Plant the fingertips down. Put the forehead just drop down for a moment, either onto the mat or up into the air. Maybe hands come to prayer. Give yourself a moment here. And inhale to press back up. Bring the knees back together for just a moment. And stepping the right foot back out. Spin yourself forward onto your mat. Coming into low lunge for just a moment. And then pressing up into your high lunge. Both toes are forward. Great job. Inhale to ground down into the right toes. Left toes come up off the mat. Heart melts down towards the right thigh. If you can, begin to straighten out the right leg. Engage your quad, engage your glutes. Deeply engage the core. And bring yourself all the way up. Left toes are extended just up off the mat. And you can tap the toes up and down. Bending through the right leg. If it feels good to you, you can start to kick the left heel up and down. Nice. You got this. This will be the last one here. Bring the left knee all the way up. Keeping that deep core connection throughout. Inhale, send the left knee up. Exhale, extend it behind you. Drop the hands down into standing split. Nice job. Bend through the right leg. Inhale to bring the left knee back up. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and set up for our dancer pose. So flipping the left hand out and reaching for the inside of the foot or the inside of the ankle, pulling the left knee inward. Inhale, right arm reaches up, ground down through the right leg, extend and lift all the way up. Big inhale. On your exhale, begin to kick back through the left ankle and allow your heart to melt and lower as a consequence. Drop the left toes down, coming out to 45 degrees. Right toes bend forward into our warrior one. Arms will reach all the way up for a back bend. On your inhale, lift the left toes back up off. Right left hand comes to the inside of the left foot. Right arm reaches back up, tilt yourself forward into your dancer. On your exhale, gently come back into warrior one. Bend into the right leg, arms reach up. Inhale, lift the 
left toes up off the mat, come back into dancer pose. Got this. Big inhale, exhale, drop the left foot, come into warrior one, big bend into the right leg. One more time, lift left toes off, reach the inside of the left foot, come into dancer pose. Wooden dancer kicking back as much as you possibly can. Hand can come to heart or reaching out in front of you. Drop left toes down, come into warrior two. Left toes point all the way outward, big bend into the right leg. And lift and lower. Nice. Beautiful job. Open up the palms, gaze over the right palm. Pulse the palms up and down. Sink down into that right leg. Flip right palm and extend right arm back into your peaceful warrior. Awesome job. Take yourself back forward, turn both toes forward and gently lift the left leg up into warrior three. Flex and extend, left toes back behind you. Great job. Keep balancing and bringing that left leg up. Taking left foot into right hip crease or any variation of tree. So maybe left toes come onto the inside of the right ankle. Whichever feels good for you, inhale the arms, reach up. Hands can come to prayer, elbows can come on out. If you can, find a nice pull. You got it. Find your drifty point, something to stare at that's not moving. Keep everything engaged, the core. Try to release any tension in your face or otherwise. Just staying nice and focused. Let the hands melt down towards the heart as you continue pulsing. Beautiful. Great job. And release. The hands can come to take the left toes down. Step left foot back behind you. Arms reach up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step right toes back to meet the left. Press the hips up into downward facing dog. Let the heart melt down. Feel into this posture. Beautiful, holding here, letting the heart melt down. If it feels good to you, we're gonna pulse both knees up and down. Fingertips spread wide. Equal weight in both hands, navel spine. Beautiful, hold here in down dog. Inhale, left toes rise. Step the left foot between the hands. Take right toes out to 45 degrees. Big bend into the left leg. Right hip comes forward into your warrior one. Nice back bend, gaze up. And circle the arms forward and back for just a moment. Good job. Connect the breath, inhale. Beautiful. And this time we're going to ground down into the left foot. Bring the right knee up if you can in one swoop. Engage your core. And we're going to sit up for our dancer on this pose as well. So taking left hand all the way up. Flipping right palm, reaching for the inside of the right foot. And beginning to kick back. Heart melts down. Coming into your dancer, keep kicking. Activating through the left quad. Holding here and gently take the right foot back for your warrior one. Right toes at 45, left toes forward. Heart open. Inhale to take your right leg up off the mat. Reach for the inside of the ankle. Left arm reaches up. Kick all the way back. Keep kicking into your dancer. Engage your core. And step the right toes back to warrior one. Arms reach up. Make sure you're breathing here. Breathing in through the nose. And exhaling out. Bring the right foot up. Reaching for the inside. Maybe your hands come to the heart. Maybe they stay lifted. Kick back through the right toes to come into dancer. Keep kicking. You got this. 
and step the right foot back into warrior one arms reach up one more time big bend into that right leg as you lift it up hand can come to heart or lift left hand up and kick back through the right foot allow yourself to melt forward sink forward keep kicking challenge yourself and gently release fingertips to the mat coming into standing split let the heart melt down towards the left thigh left toes come behind you excellent beautiful job maybe this time flexing through the right toes bend gently into the left foot and coming into a lunge for just a moment a shortened lunge then deeply into the left foot and begin to take toes up off the mat. So using right glute to help you. And then if it feels good for you, you can maybe kick right toes back behind you. For three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Step right foot back, arms reach up. Beautiful work here. Awesome job. Great. And this time bend into the left foot. Gently take right toes up off the mat to come into warrior three. Right thigh is pointed down towards the mat and release fingertips down for just a moment. Drop right foot back down to the mat. Turn right toes out, bend deeply into the left leg. Open up the arms to come into warrior two. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Begin to flip the palms up and down. Great job. Nice inhale over left fingertips and on your exhale, reach left arm back for peaceful warrior. Great job. Inhale to cartwheel the arms back forward. Gaze over left fingertips and cartwheel the arms down. Both toes come forward for a moment. Plant the hands. Come into your high plank. Press back into down dog. Inhale, roll through into high plank. Exhale, press the hips back. Inhale through. Exhale, press back. Hold and down dog. Great job. Drop down onto the knees. And let's find ourselves in a seated position. So let's set up for our bridge pose. Come all the way down onto the mat. Fingertips want to be um, grazing the heels so that the heels are in a nice spot, right where they need to be, a little closer to the body. Feet are about hip width apart. Engaging your core and engaging your glutes, squeezing the thighs in. We'll take an inhale here to lift the hips up off the mat, glutes squeeze. Rock solid core, you got it. Hold here and drop the hips down. Inhale to press up. Exhale to lower. Inhale up. Exhale to lower. This time we're gonna reach left arm back as we take the hips up and lower. Inhale, reach right arm back to touch the floor. Exhale, lower. You got this. Keep the hips lifted each time, keep the core engaged. Squeeze the glutes. And everything I touch, it'll be legendary. They can slander my words, but never slander my soul. Put my name on the wall. This is the last Just one on sure each side. Know. Finish up wherever you are. Great job. I know I'm Take a nice roll and up to a seated done, position. And, and bring the the feet out in front of you. Planting the sole of the right no, foot down. No, no. Left ankle stacks on top of the right thigh. Keep yourself nice and lifted up off the ground. Flex the left foot, nice. Mm, feeling that nice stretch through the left hip. All the way through the left hamstring. All kinds of good places. 
Awesome job. Release, right knee down to the mat, left knee stacks on top. Hands come to the soles of the feet and shoulders are coming left to right. Nice. Open up the arms, open up the gaze. Inhale, arms reach up, hands come to prayer. Exhale, lower hands to heart. Nice. Release the hands down. Uncross the feet. And we'll go ahead and send the left sole of the foot down. Right ankle on top of the left thigh. Grow up nice and tall, flex through the right foot. And hold it here, breathing into that stretch. Beautiful job. And release, right knee on top of left. Grow nice and tall here. Maybe the chest goes left to right, to your own beat. <laughs> Take your hands to your heart and just tune in to your own heartbeat as you breathe into your heart space. Just as a reminder that this is the truest space of who you are. And as you move through your day, your evening, that so much of that power, so much of that grace is complemented by the heart, by that willingness to be open, that willingness to trust and to try and to just go for those things in life that we're desiring. Take the hands down to the mat. Open up the gaze, send the head back. Excellent. And we will end our class seated. Feel free to take a nice yummy Shavasana on your own after this, just to allow the effects of this practice to sink in. You have truly done an amazing, amazing practice for yourself today. You should be very proud for this act of self-care and you really did activate that power and that grace. And it's those balances, that balance of the polar opposites and those aspects of ourselves that I think is what's really fun about life. You know, never try to take anything too extreme, but just understand that all of those different varying things about us, as bizarre as they may seem, or like they don't complement each other, they are exactly as they need to be to make you who you are. So just stay, stay lifted knowing that. And thank you again for practicing with me. Let's inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Have a blissful rest of your day or evening and I will see you so soon. Namaste. I want to invite you to the Bliss Asana Online Yoga Studio, a monthly membership portal that contains all of the fun, free-flowing movement videos that I've created. I'd love for you to join me on this journey of self-discovery by becoming a member of the monthly subscription with Bliss Asana. You'll have access to a growing library of premium high quality yoga videos, including access to my 21 day yoga program and my brand new Elemental Bliss series filmed in Costa Rica, exploring the five elements of nature. Bliss Asana really is about tapping back into yourself and getting real with who you are. I would love to bliss up with you and I cannot wait to see you inside the studio. Peace out.